So I hear you're in the market for a new chrome bag. Well, I've got a few of them. Let me help you with that. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen a video or two of me wearing one of these chrome bags, whether it be on my commute or going to collect a box or just being on my bike with one of these bags because they are probably, in my humble opinion, the greatest bags ever made for cyclists. And I'm gonna tell you why. You guys have asked me to make this video a bunch of times and I never actually get around to doing it. It actually took Toasty Rides to actually ask me to make this video for me to actually make it. Um, so you can thank him down in the comments for, making, for me making this video because he asked me to make it. Even though you've all asked me to make it, I, I finally made it. I suppose before I actually start talking about bags, let's talk about Chrome Industries. Uh, they've been around since 1995. There's a really cool little section on their website, uh, Made for What's Ahead, which is quite a cool uh, tagline. Um, and it says on here that uh, almost 30 years ago, we started working on the better carry options for hardworking bike messengers around the world. This satisfied with the status quo. We got an idea if seatbelt buckles are built to save lives, they're tough enough for our bags. So we pulled an old mobile buckle from a junkyard. Old mobile? I'm guessing that's a type of car. Uh, and uh, they sold it to an industry strength messenger and Chrome was born. I think when most people think about Chrome Industries, that buckle is probably that kind of thing that everybody always knows about. Uh, and it's the thing that often people stands out the most. Um, it is quite literally a seatbelt. Uh, and you can also use this bit here as a bottle opener, which is pretty damn cool. So what I'm gonna do is go through the bags that I own, which is pretty much most of the main kind of categories, uh, and kind of talk about what I love about them uh, and kind of the main features of them, I guess. Uh, and it will kind of hopefully help you guys determine exactly which bag is the right one for you. Um, and I wanna start probably with my current daily, uh, which is the Barrage. So the Barrage is the biggest bag that I have. Uh, I, I got this uh, quite a few months ago now, maybe at the beginning of the summer, um, and it has been probably my favorite up until now. Um, I love the size of it. It's super, super comfortable. I've ridden with quite a lot of backpacks over the years, and backpacks can generally be quite hot and uncomfortable, especially with straps. Um, the big thing I think with the, the Barrage um, in particular is the fact that it, with, uh, I say they've been particular with the Barrage, but all the bags, They've all got the, the straps on the chest and they've got some way of stopping them from wiggling around. Uh, here's a quick wiggle test to show you that, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. The one that I've been using is a duck camo. The duck camo is, well, it's invisible. You can't actually see it, right? <sighs> but it was one of those colors that I wasn't sure if, has a light gone off? The thing that I probably use the barrage for most is kind of going to pick up stuff or groceries. Um, you can fit so much in it. Um, and if you just have the bag unroll like this, because you can roll it and then buckle it, but you can also keep it unrolled, which gives you an extra height and the strap is adjustable. So you can fit a crazy, crazy amount in them. Um, so the barrage is is absolutely phenomenal if you're gonna be the sort of person, mainly if you go and collect things, deliver things, or just if you take a lot when you go to work. I take a lot when I go to work. It's usually quite full up when I go to work. Next up is the messenger or the citizen messenger. Um, this one is probably one of the first chrome bags that I ever bought. Um, this one, uh, I wanted something that was quite big, but I wanted some over the shoulder. The big thing with over the shoulder bags, at least for most of the ones that I've used in the past, um, they kind of help you stay a bit cooler. There's less on you um, and they're perfect for specially messaging or delivering or having to get stuff out quickly to fling it round open it up and then be able to get stuff out when you need to. Um, so if there's a little bit more kind of maneuverability and you need to be able to access stuff, the messenger in particular is a really good one for that. Um, although I feel the messenger isn't quite as comfortable when it is full. So it's one of those bags that's kind of in the middle. If you do want to, something that's quite big that you can fit especially soft stuff in there, then you're probably all good. But if you're putting kind of more hard, like you're shopping groceries and things like that perhaps, um, the probably barrage is a little bit better for that sort of stuff. You know, 
One thing I failed to mention then was actually how reflective the bags are. Um, all the bags have some sort of woven in reflective strips uh, and in particular on the, the Citizen, you've got this big strip that is really reflective and really, really cool. Talk about really, really cool. Uh, my stickers that you can pick up on my website, which is saveoldbikes.com, um, are really cool. Uh, these have been out of stock for quite a few weeks now and people keep asking me, when on earth are you gonna restock these stickers? I have. They're now available again on the website. I also ordered uh, some new colors as well. So there is now a yellow as well and uh, a yellow uh, uh, bulky boys bike club sticker as well um, and some very exclusive crusty ride stickers which uh, if you're an Instagram follower you know exactly what that is uh, you guys if you don't know yet uh, I'm doing a group ride pretty soon um, there'll be more details on that very soon uh, it's on the 28th of October but for the people that can't make it especially people that live overseas um, I'm gonna release a little uh, ex exclusive sticker that you'll be able to buy back back to that guy Next up is probably my most used bag. It's the Cadet Sling. They're probably my go-to on a hot day, especially just because they are so much smaller and kind of keep some of that kind of your back free for breathing and well, sweating when you're riding. One of my favorite things about the sling, um, and it's actually on the messengers as well, is the underarm strap. The underarm strap stops the bag swinging when it's on your back um, and kind of is one of the biggest things that make chrome bags in particular for me is cycling bags. They are made for people riding bikes. Um, a lot of bags, you can buy a lot of sling type bags, some of them even lighter and a bit more airy and things like that. But I don't know many on the market, if any, that have that kind of underarm strap and that kind of that extra little bit that you need when you're cycling. But you can fit quite a surprising amount of stuff in the slings. Um, but for me, uh, I could just do a just a little tiny bit extra space sometimes not all the time but sometimes just that little little tiny bit so i was craving something bigger so that introduced us to the to the, to the last bag uh which is the brand new cadet sling max hang on <coughs> cadet max so the Cadet Max has everything that the Cadet Sling has. Um, it literally is a bigger form factor and has a few extra things as well, to be fair. It's still gonna have that over, over the shoulder kind of strap uh, with the under underarm as well to kind of secure it. Uh, it's got that same belt buck on, on it as well. Um, but I would probably say it probably has double the amount of space, which is way more than I was expecting. I went for the Red X on this bag, uh, which is actually made out of recycled nylon, uh, which is one of the things that drew me to it. Um, there's the big thing with uh, Chrome as well. They are very conscious about the environment and kind of like doing things better. Uh, so they often bring out kind of bags and stuff and products that have been thought out a little bit deeper. Uh, and the Red X, uh, the recycled nylon is obviously one of those things. Chrome are also really into their collaborations. Uh, this one, for example, is, uh, is uh, the, the dad hat. Uh, this is collaborated with uh, Lucas Buffort, or Buff Buffont. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. I'm really sorry if I'm not. Um, but uh, he's done some really cool uh, bag designs as well, which are like these ones here. Um, but there's often something that they are doing. Uh, the actual slings. This was also uh, a collaboration they did with another artist. Um, so like they, they're always doing something, which is, is super cool, Makes keeps the bags interesting. Um, but yeah, I think I've covered most things. I've probably missed out a lot as well though, so. But I hope that's kind of uh, answers some questions for people that have had them, um, and then potentially introduce you to something that you've been looking for. So if you're one of those people, you're welcome, I guess. Good, enjoy spending money on, on things. But if you enjoy this type of content and you're into bikes and all things bikes, we do a lot of builds, we do a lot of painting and just bike, bikes, we, we do bikes basically. Um, so if you're into that type of thing, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you can't wait to the next video, I do suggest giving that one a go. It's a particularly good one.